Wayne, going back to the hockey, the build-up to yesterday's yeah. match against the USA was amazing. The, 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 the team played well, they just yeah. couldn't get the ball in the, in the yeah. net in the end. That's Eddie Maguire interviewing Canada's greatest ice hockey star, Wayne Gretzky. Someone forgot to tell Eddie that ice hockey isn't played with a ball. It's played with this. It's called a puck, Eddie. Welcome to Media Watch, I'm Jonathan Holmes. Now to more serious fare, the government's controversial My School website. Unless you've been living under a rock or don't have kids, you'll know that it's been popular with parents and unpopular with teachers. But what about school principals? The Saturday before last, Seven News in Sydney had a story about a survey of its members conducted by the New South Wales Primary Principals Association. The website attempts to rank schools nationwide based on performance, but the survey showed 67% of principals called it a potentially damaging time bomb. 77% a political exercise. And the association's president, Jeff Scott, told Seven... Unless we get this website right, we're going to find that we're using that sort of inaccurate and misleading data. Mr Scott didn't sound too thrilled with the website, did he? So Seven's viewers in New South Wales must have been a bit puzzled to wake up in the morning and read this story in the Sunday Telegraph. My school passes the principal test. By education writer Miao Ling Lam. Principals have made a mockery of attacks by teachers' unions on the My School website, with the first survey revealing more than two-thirds support the site. Okay, two-thirds support it. So, did Seven get it completely wrong? Let's check the actual survey. Do you believe that the My School website is a new tool providing effective and accurate information about Australian schools' performance? One percent. A time bomb, potentially damaging to a broad primary curriculum? 67%. Respondents could pick as many options as they liked. Even more agreed that the website is... A political exercise with little benefit to schools or communities. 77%. In fact, the principal's responses were overwhelmingly negative. So how in the world did the Sunday telly manage to claim that two-thirds of them support the My School website? Well, because... The survey found 67% want to build on the website and work with the federal government to make it more complete, accurate and credible. But that's just outrageous spin. The principals are realists. They know the website is here to stay. But 67% of them want their association to... Apply professional pressure to governments to make my school data complete, accurate and reflective of what schools are really all about. In other words, right now they feel it's incomplete, inaccurate and unreflective of what schools are really all about. Some support. The Sunday Telly story went on. The survey puts principals at loggerheads with teachers' unions, which have condemned the site. But Jeff Scott says he told Miao Ling Lam exactly the opposite. She asked me if this puts you in conflict with the teachers' union, and I said no, not at all. In yesterday's Sunday Telegraph, after Media Watch started asking questions, Miao Ling Lam came up with the article she should have written the week before. Principals seek my school changes. The state's primary school principals are demanding talks with Julia Gillard in a bid to revamp the my school website. The article admitted that... The Sunday Telegraph last week said principals surveyed supported the site. In fact, the survey revealed two-thirds of principals accepted the site, but wanted changes. I may be old-fashioned, but I reckon Miao Ling Lam and her editor should sit in the corner wearing Dunce's caps right through morning recess. Now, here's a letter to Melbourne's Herald Sun from someone who doesn't like the Minister for Communications' plans to introduce a mandatory internet filter. Senator Stephen Conroy wants to filter my internet. He wants to protect me because, apparently, I'm incapable of looking after myself. It was sent in by... Oliver Prest, Ringwood East. The day before, an identical letter had appeared across Bass Strait in the Mercury. Senator Stephen Conroy wants to filter my internet. That was written by... Oliver Prest, Launceston. This one in Sydney's Daily Telegraph... Senator Stephen Conroy wants to filter my internet... ...was from... Oliver Prest, Greenacre. And this one, which was... Letter of the Day. In the Northern Territory News, came from... Oliver Prest, Alice Springs. Seems like Oliver is a serial Prest.